Have you ever feel bored with a photography location that you used to love? I'm talking about that spot where you keep coming back over and over again. It's the spot that you know inside out by now and that you have taken pictures of in all weather conditions, in any time of the year, at all times of the day. I believe that being overly familiar with one location can have two big consequences. First of all, you know the location so well that you can predict with very high precision how your shots are going to be like and you can predict the settings that you're going to need and you can really customize how you want the picture to look like. But at the same time, it can get boring because it might feel like the novelty element is not there anymore, so you can kind of lack the motivation to go out and shoot. Well, I had something similar with Prague. Beautiful city, capital of the Czech Republic, it's my happy place. It's a city that I have visited so many times and that I love going back to. And it's also the city where my boyfriend is from and this makes it very very easy to get an excuse to travel there like two or three times a year and I feel like at this point I know the city so well I know the alleys and square and passages and landmarks I feel confident uh, walking around and I know what type of feeling I can get out of each neighborhood So if most of my Lightroom catalogue is made of pictures from Prague, what is left to take a picture of? Well, I was there last October and I decided to set a little challenge for myself. I wanted to find new spots that I never visited before. The research for this was fairly straightforward. I started following on Instagram and YouTube photographers and architects based in Prague and I started saving their posts and taking screenshots of things that I was not familiar with and that I wanted to take a picture of next time. So everything uh, was included in this little folder on my phone and when I went in October I basically planned the trip around that. So. Here is the list of the new locations that I discovered and curious to know if you knew about them already. The first one is the tree tunnel. It's actually fairly popular on Instagram. I knew it existed. I just never had the chance to go there in person. Also, I wanted be there in autumn because of the colors of the trees and the effect of the yellow leaves forming the tunnel. I was there for what it felt like an infinity because I was set on taking a picture of the old tram running through the tunnel and for whichever reason just the modern models kept running by but perseverance paid off and I managed to take my shot. Not super happy with the amount of leaves on the trees, so lesson learned for next year. I need to go there a bit earlier in the year so that I can make sure that there are big yellow trees making the tunnel. Next is the Dead End Building, located in Narodni Srida, fairly close to the National Theatre. It's a very interesting modern building, but I didn't want to go there for the outside. I wanted to take the picture of what was in the inside yard. If you walk past the entrance, you find yourself in this little yard, and in the center of it, there is this huge sculpture in the shape of a tree. 
It's made out of iron rods and it's super interesting how it develops in height and kind of merges with the architecture of the building. This next location is probably my favorite discovery from the trip and I think it also is ranking fairly high in the list of my favorite spots in Prague and I'm talking about the Visegrad station which is located next to the Visegrad castle. It's basically an abandoned station. Trains are still running on the tracks but the building itself is not used and it's actually kind of falling apart. But I really like the architecture and the sense of abandonment and neglect, I guess. And it gave me the opportunity to take very nice and moody shots, especially when I managed to include the train as well. And finally, we have Stromovka, which is a huge city park located in the north of the city. I knew about its existence, I was never there before. It was so relaxing to just walk around in the early morning where people were not really out yet, and it was just us and the camera, a few passers-by, and the autumn nature and also my one of my favorite elements the mist still hanging around and creating very very nice effects with the light so as you can see there is hope don't just give a location for granted because you feel too comfortable about it and you think that you visited everything that has to be visited already. Try and look for different perspectives and keep exploring because you might be very very surprised, positively surprised by the result. Thank you for watching, it's all for today, I'll see you around next time, bye bye!